Motion. My name is Deja and I want to welcome you guys to this week's Mo Show Awards. Our first award is our Challenge of the Week star and this week we not only have one winner but two and they are Jalen and Addison. Thank you guys so much for sharing your online experience with us this week. Keep up the good work. Our next award is our Small Group Leader Award, and this goes to Mr. David Howard. Mr. David is one of our amazing small group leaders who is always finding ways to grow his group and making a lasting impact on our students. So thank you so much, Mr. David. We appreciate all that you do. And lastly, we have our Song of the Week, which is Maverick City Music's Refiner. This song is so amazing. It really helps in to usher in the presence of God. So we just want to encourage you this week while you're spending time with the Lord to just listen to that song. Thank you for joining us. See you next week. When I was in middle school, I got in trouble a lot. Uh, I don't know if you can relate to that. When I was in middle school, I got in trouble so much. I feel like I got in trouble just about every day. Like I got in trouble with either my, my teachers at school, I got in trouble with like friends, or I got in trouble with my brother and sister, I got in trouble with my parents, just felt like I was always in trouble for something. And honestly, I started thinking like, is this ever gonna change? Like, am I always gonna be a person that's always in trouble for something? See, I can remember by the time I got to high school, something had changed. Something had happened that when I got to high school, it seemed as if I just, I got in trouble less and less and less to where I really didn't get in trouble at all. Not really with teachers, not really with my brother or sister, not really with my parents. Like something had changed and I wasn't getting in trouble as much. See, what happened from middle school to high school is I had this moment when I realized that I wanted to be like Jesus. I had this moment when I realized if, if I could really be who God wanted me to be, that I was gonna work towards becoming that. And, and in middle school, I started learning more about God. I started learning more about his plan for my life. I started learning more about what it meant to just be a follower of Jesus. And that the more that I started learning about Jesus, the more that I came to church, the more that I just tried to do the right thing, I would read my Bible, I would pray, the more that I started doing those things, by the time I got to high school, it was like so much changed. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but maybe you feel like there's things that are going on in your life. Maybe you're like, you don't know if they really ever will change. Like for me, I didn't really know if it would ever change if I would stop getting in trouble as much as I did. But it changed. And what happened, what brought about the changes was that I got to know Jesus better. See, in this series, It's Personal, we've been talking about this guy named Zacchaeus. And we've talked about how he was a guy who was really rich, he was short, but there was some things about Zacchaeus that last week people knew him by his mistakes. That Zacchaeus was someone who had made a lot of mistakes and people knew it. That it makes me think maybe Zacchaeus was in a place where he wondered if his life would ever change. Like if he would ever stop making mistakes. Like if people would actually see him for who he really was. See, it's interesting because Zacchaeus had a moment when everything changed. And I want to read it. It's in the book of Luke chapter 19 in our series. We've been looking in Luke chapter 19 every single week. Today, I want to read Luke chapter 19, verse number eight. It says, but Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Do you see this? That Zacchaeus, he was known by his mistakes. He was known because he cheated people. But in a moment when he meets Jesus, he gets to know Jesus 
better and everything changes for Zacchaeus. That he decides he is going to start living the life that God has called him to live. And it all happened because he just got to know Jesus better. See, for you and for me, there may be things in our lives that we feel like, man, I don't know if this will ever change. I don't know if people will know me by anything else. I don't know if I'll stop getting in trouble. But what happened for me, what happened for Zacchaeus, and what I believe what can happen for you, is that as you get to know Jesus better, as you get to know Jesus more, that Jesus will begin to change you. See, Jesus knows your potential. Jesus knows who you were made to be. And if you ever want to be that person, all you have to do is get to know Jesus better. He knows your potential. And the more that you get to know him, the closer in relationship you get to Jesus, the more that you'll see things just start to change. See, this week I want to challenge you to do something. I know it's easy to be able to look at people and see their mistakes. But what if you looked at people and saw their potential? What if you looked at your friends and yes, they may be doing things that are not the greatest right now. But what if you encourage them to be the person God has called them to be? What if you encourage them to be the friend, the brother, the sister that God has called them to be. See, Jesus sees your potential. And maybe for all of us this week, we can try to see others' potential as well. Because the truth is, the closer you get to Jesus, the more it's not just potential, but the more it becomes reality. The closer you get to Jesus, the more things start to change. And this week, I want to challenge you to look and see others' potential as well, because Jesus, well, he knows yours, and he will help you every day to become that person. Would you pray with me? Father, thank you for today. Thank you for our potential. Thank you that you created us with a purpose and a plan, and there's a reason for us being alive today. So Father, would you help us to get closer to you? Would you help us to see the potential that you have for us? Would you help us to get to know you better so that things start to change? But also God, this week, would you remind us to look out and to see others' potential as well? Father, we love you. Thank you for Jesus. And we pray it all in Jesus' name, amen.